it's time for another episode of uh, uh, Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today we've got the third of three varieties that Bull Ramen makes. Uh, this is made in South Korea for export. And the last one I did, I did a mukbang with it. I'm probably not, I'll, I'll try this one on this show. Uh, this is basically a knockoff of a 1X Bulldog, uh, but it's called Bull Ramen. Different company makes it. So, yeah. Anyways, let's get this happening. It's just a clone of Bulldog, which makes sense. There we are. So yeah, how it goes, it is Friday, which is a day of the week. We have those from time to time, and when we do, they are they're, uh, days of the week. It has been a busy morning for yours truly. I uh, got up, what, four, four or so this morning or something like that, and uh, I do. I sliced up, sliced up Naruto Maki, did a bunch of dishes, and put a bunch of junk away, and pulled butcher twine off a, off a big long canes of chashu, listen to these freaking yokels do their damn lawn maintenance, and uh, Mimi helped me by opening little plastic bags, and Chicken sliced chashu after the, uh, what do you call it? After the meat slicer had its way with the chashu and ended up with 81 slices of chashu plus some uh, ends, some burnt ends and stuff. So that's pretty cool. So got a lot done and now I'm on to the review portion of the day and it's 10.30. And I am beat. I'm beat. Caffeine just ain't doing as it should this morning. But what can you do? Just don't boil over. That's not what I'm in the mood for. And So, yeah, I'm feeling kind of out of it this morning, but, you know, what do you do? Just keep, keep on trucking, keep chugging, doing, grooving, doing it, you know. And, uh, yeah, being Friday, that means tomorrow's Saturday, and, uh, then it's Sunday, and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You know what would be nice is if I could get some more varieties to review from South Korea. And yes, I've tried Shin. And I've tried Bulldog. Remember, I've had over 4,000... This Well, when this comes out... God, I don't know what post it'll be saying, but... This should be post number 4,724. And when I'm done today, I'll be up to 4,726. Seven? No, no, that was yesterday. When I'm done today, I'll be up to 4,731. So, it's getting closer. I've always thought, man, once I get to the point of it being under 500 reviews to go, that's going to be pretty crazy. And I'm almost to the point of being around 250 reviews to go, so... Which, when you think about it, I'm currently about 160 reviews ahead of uh, the post that came out today. So, yeah. It's within grasp! I don't know. It's kind of cool, but then on the other side, it's like, okay, once I hit 5,000, what happens? I guess I uh, do a few interviews on 
and print and whatever and then I just keep reviewing stuff it'll happen it will be done work caffeine work It looks nice out though. Despite my tired state, I think I may have to walk like 10 miles. That'd be nice. I don't know. I like walking. I like that. So this, uh, I need that too. I need 120 milliliters of water. Hey. What do you need that for? Well, I'll tell you. You may not like it. You often don't. I don't know. People on the people who watch my show, I think they understand. So it calls for eight spoons of water. You drain the noodle. You take out the eight spoons of water. And then you stir fry after you add the sauce and junk for uh, 30 seconds. It's really an imprecise directive, to be quite brutally honest. I like more. I like stuff you can set your watch to. It's like so. Okay. So do I? that counting the time it takes it to bring it up to that temp and do all that or not I'm gonna go with that right there all right let's do this I don't know some hot spicy that might wake me up a little bit Yeah, 81 slices of chashu, and they came out nice. The last batch of chashu I did just did not, did not do well. And this one, oh, that's right here. Uh, okay. I usually use a saucepan. I am not, or a, a skillet. I'm not using a skillet today. Not in the mood to skillet. get that up to a, a temperature where it starts making the noises and it's it's doing stuff so we will add our sachet as I said in the last time that I had one of these bull ramen it's all right. It's not. If, if you're gonna have one of these level spicy things, I would be more saying go with the original. Go with the bulldog, the samyang. And and also I'd like to say I really don't like comparing one product to another. But this is such a copycat product that there's like really nothing that I can do other than that. So that's why that is occurring currently. Right. I will say with this one, the noodle, I don't know that I... It's different. I think I like it equally as the uh, Samyang. This one seems a little thicker, has a little more body to it. And, and it has a slight more chew, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's do that. So now I will do the tasting portion of the program, where now you'll get to see me eat something spicy. I mean, it looks like 
they're round. It's very uh, saucy spaghetti-like kind of thing. But again, I should note this tastes nothing like chicken. This tastes like a sauce you would put on Korean barbecue chicken. They just like to put chickens on it to emulate or let you know that's what goes on it. It is hot and spicy, but it's not. The extra hot one that they had, I can't say that it was like really all that much hotter than this one. I've seen that before too. I remember there was was one that I reviewed from Malaysia a while back and then they had like a regular spicy then they had an extra hot and it was like are you sure that's not the same product? It was good. Pretty good but our saucy noodle. Um, whoa, 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 crap. We'll add some kimchi. First one I've done today, folks. So, I need to get a new one of these stands. This one's getting kind of wonky. one for today and the next one you're gonna see is one I found at Indian Sweets and Spices <clears throat> excuse me over in uh, I don't know if it's Mount Lake Terrace or in Shoreline I I'm gonna guess Mount Lake Terrace it's over that away this is current by their current instant noodles What's the name of this Yashida, yeah, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Yaruda 
foods? I can't remember. It's hard to see. Anyways, it's a uh, spicy chicken one. How funny. I just did spicy chicken. Anyways, this has been Hans the Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Have a good one. Bye-bye.